Okay, so uh, this is like I guess part four of the baby dancer commission. And um, whenever I'm working on a commission, I'm usually working on something else at the same time. So um, this is the one that I poured for the commission, but I decided not to use this because um, I thought it was too dark and it didn't really look like um, the other one. But uh, right now, I'm just putting a layer of Mod Podge on here, and my hands are like super sticky. Um, so I um, just finished putting Mod Podge on this one, and um, I'm going to put that one aside to dry somewhere. Um, I've since poured like more than one um, little small uh, 11 by 14 canvases, and I have one canvas board that I poured, but I'm going to move this out the way and Mod Podge another one, just so you can see the process. Um, and I have no idea, oh yeah, I do have more of I'm going to put this over here so it can dry. It's almost dry um, to the test. But it's going to take a minute for this stuff to dry, because even though it's like 115 degrees outside, um, when I pick up the um, commission piece, um, there was still paint like dripping out the sides or something on the back. So I got paint all over my leg and all over my hands. And it was not fun. So anyway, I have this big giant thing of uh, Mod Podge. And I'm going to Mod Podge this one. And uh, this one appears to be dry. Um, let me flip it over and see if it's actually dry. There's maybe some, this is where I found paint. It's right here in the back. And there may still be paint. There's like it's still wet. So this is why I tell people it takes two days. This I poured this last night, so it's still wet. So that's paint. Okay, that's paint. Um, so this is still wet, actually. It's wet there too. Oh man, it's wet everywhere. Okay. Um, I have to be extra careful. And this got stuck to this box. I just put it on like a cardboard box. Got stuck. So, there's paint all underneath here. It's really, really wet. So, I have to be really careful when I'm doing this. There's like paint over here. But there's some iridescence in this paint because I did. Well, hold on, let me wash my hands off. Um, now that I have paint on my hands. There's a little iridescence that's um, in this paint because I put an iridescent medium on here. And, uh, so now that there's paint on, there's uh, this iridescent in here, iridescence in here, it will show through. It's really kind of in the white. Maybe it's kind of hard to tell, but I can see it. Uh, it's a, just a little slight sparkle. So I can see it um, in this paint. And um, it'll come through a little bit more when this shines up a little bit with the, um, with the Mod Podge. I'm going to put a little layer of Mod Podge on here. I know this seems kind of extreme, but I'm just going to put a little bit on here. I have this little handy dandy roller. This is such the cutest little roller that I got from like the Home Depot or Lowe's or someplace like that. It's, I can't remember which one, or I'd tell you guys. But it's so cute. It's just this little tiny ruler. I think it's for doing like your uh, your window seals or something like that, or the you know the corners, whatever you use, the baseboards and things like that. I like think it's cool. Now I don't really want this texture on here, but it's really good for rolling out something that's really smooth and for getting an even layer on here. And that's really all I'm trying to do is get an even layer. And uh, you do want to do this in a well ventilated area because this Mod Podge is really, really strong. And then it also goes on very strong. So when you, and I'm going to go over the edges because my edges all have um, paint on them, as you can kind of see. 
I just want to paint on them. So if I decide to paint something over the edges, I want to be able to do something with that as well and have that. You know, if I make a mistake, this, this is how I am able to keep my mistakes from being permanent. So now here's my brush. It has some water in it. transfer and you know I've looked online to see if there was somebody who you know had photo transfers on um, port acrylic and there was like one person or something so um, when I well, this is going to get loaded up to YouTube and then when I load it up then I'm going to like put on there you know photo transfer on um, port acrylic backgrounds or something that people can find it because I was looking for something and I just really didn't find anything. I mean, I found something that said photo transfer or I found something that said port acrylic, but I didn't find anything like this. So I guess I'm the only person really doing this like this. I guess. I don't know. It's not that, you know, I'm trying to like promote people to do what I'm doing because, you know, I do what I do and other people do what they do and that's fine. And I'm going to make this go in this direction because that's the direction that the paint is going. Uh, the other ones I did in a different direction. I want this to go in this direction. Because that's really the direction that the paint is flowing in. And I think that's the direction that the painting I'm going to put on here is going to go also. So I want it to go in the same direction. And that's a lot of times that's what I do to make the paint go in the direction I want to make it flow in the direction I want it to go in. So now I'm just getting rid of excess water. I'm going to go through this one more time. Until it starts to dry out a little bit. And once I see the lines, I'm going to go over the side. And this little roller still has a lot of um, Mod Podge in it, so, and it kind of dries out some of the um, water that's in here, so what I'm looking for is nice, kind of dry lines. I don't know if you can see that on here. Oh yeah, you can see that. So, and this has some really nice lines in it, and I found a really nice painting to go with this. So, and like I said, as I'm doing commissions, I'm also doing other works as well. So, so I don't waste time, and I don't waste paint, and I don't waste materials, so I'm always looking for I always have ideas about things that I'm doing. So I'm going to do a yoga series. And I'm still not done with my cowboy series, by the way. I still have like five paintings to do with that. So I'm glad that summer's here so I can get a chance to work on those things. So now that I'm done with that, uh, I'm going to put these in here. And I'm going to put it on pause for a minute. And um, 
put these away and then when we come back then hopefully everything will be dry and I'll um, be all cleaned up my area be cleaned up and we'll I'll see if it's time to um, put the little girl on the um, well we'll cut the little girl out at first and then we'll see if I can put her on the um, on the to put the baby dancer on her background and you'll get to see what that looks like and we'll look at that really closely because there has there's a lot of um, there's a lot of iridescence and in the white paint there's not as much in this because this is my leftover paint and it just came out really nicely and I really like how it came out but uh, I'll put you on pause for just a second okay I'm back I had to um, put another layer of uh, Mod Podge on the um, painting and I also put a small layer, a real thin layer of this iridescent, this iridescent paint here. Oh god, I see that's going to be backwards. Well, I don't know what to do about this. Um, I tried to, oh, you know what, I guess I could turn this around. Huh, you well, know, let me pause this first. Well, you know what, we'll just do this the way this is. I'm, I'm, I'll figure this out next time I do this video. Um, this is Liquitex Iridescent Medium. And it was about... I don't know, about 14 bucks, which was cheaper than the Pearl Iridescent, which was like $19.99. I was like, oh no, I don't think so. So um, I put just a little bit of that. It's like this really small cup of that that I use. So anyway, I'm going to cut this little girl out and away from the wall. And um, as I recall, I had to make her foot again and also had to make her hair. So, and I'm going to take my glasses off because I really can't see uh, up close with these glasses in this glare. And then whenever this dress gets put on here, then I know that um, it's going to be, um, it's going to um, become translucent or transparent. And you won't be, you know, I'll have to, I'll see a lot of whatever the background is, which um, in the middle there, and I'll have to decide which, you know, which way to go. I think I know which way I'm going to go. Um, because this has like a big purple um, dip or zigzag right in the same, almost in the same place as the original, which, you know, hey, I'm real happy with that. Um, it looks, it doesn't look the same, but it's similar to the original baby dancer. So this is going to be nice, okay? And um, again, I, I don't usually make duplicates of the same painting, but you know, I was a little sad when I sold this painting, you know? I mean, I, I you know, I never get really emotionally attached to my artwork. Um, but you know, I really kind of like this little baby girl. She's really cute. And um, so, you know, it was okay. You know, it was a little sad that, you know, the lady came in, she was like, I like that one. Don't you take that one down off your wall. If that one's sold. And I was like, huh, what? And she was like, yes, that one's sold. And I was like, okay. And she said, I'll be back. And, um, you know, it just so happened that um, uh, where I was in the mall at that time, my square happened to be working appropriately because the next week the square wasn't working. In the, in the mall, it didn't, uh, the Wi-Fi wasn't working at all. And I had to, like, I was, like, so embarrassed. I had to walk this lady who bought a print um, of my little boy with the, with the wild hair, with the fire. <coughs> Excuse me. That looked like, it, like, it, uh, like he had a fire going on. I had to walk, like, her all the way around the other side of the mall to, you know, have it work and that was like kind of embarrassing you know that my technology wasn't working appropriately and I felt like you know what's going on here is it is it my phone you know what is it um, and it was just the Wi-Fi connection was jacked up and um, you know I had gone to T-Mobile and uh, they were like well if you just wait in line and I was like dude I don't have time to wait in line um, so I wasn't too happy with that whole concept here. Okay, so right here is where um, her hair is 
like cut off so I'm going to make sure that I cut that really closely so that there's no white line when I put it on there and then I have to make some hair from her out of a dark part of the uh, picture and you'll see where I do that and so her hair is going to be different so like right there it's cut off her hair is going to be different and then, I don't know, was the last time I had like a real hard time doing her, doing her hand. I'm going to see if I can like really closely cut out her fingers. I'm going to cut around them this time. So I can get that in. But, um, I don't know, maybe I had a better cut this time. I don't know. Better image. I don't know. This looks different. Maybe it's because this is the second time I'm doing it. Who oh, no. knows? Uh, this hand doesn't look better. This hand looks worse, so I don't know. Uh, hmm. That's weird. So, let's see. Can you look at this? Pixels are kind of like, um, just making this really hard to see. I think I got it. I'm going to have to cut her arm off. And ooh, that's really hard to see. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's really hard to see. I'm going to put it under the light so I can really see it. Oh, you guys have a better view than me. Oh. Maybe it's because it's in the cut here. extrapolate that. I mean, let's take as much information as you can from the information you have. Because you don't actually have enough information to see what you're, to do what you're trying to do. So you have to kind of sort of guess. I had a problem with his hand the last time, so I'm not surprised I'm having a problem with it now. Okay, and then she has on the fluffy dress. Well, her dress has like a lot of fluffy lace in the front. Which the computer sees as squares. And so it's just squared out, it's just pixelated, squared that out. Okay. Moving right along. And then I have to do her both her hands. Her hand differently. But I mean I know what I'm looking at now for sure. I'm just gonna cut around that so I can get to it. Oh, that's a bow. Oh, snap. Didn't realize that's what that was. Okay. Okay, well, the second time around. You get, you figure out what you're doing. Then you know. Because the first time you didn't really know what you're doing. Oh, I completely understand that song now. Make a little 
finger for her. Can't really see it. It's pixelated out. But, and I don't know, I'm gonna have to use that. Ooh, wow, that's really small. Oh my gosh. It's so tiny. seeing that and she's doing like this so when you're seeing her hand but you're seeing it from you're seeing it from the other side so you're seeing her hand like I don't know some kind of weird thing that you're seeing like seeing her hand point or something I don't know I can't just pay them this thing from the wrong angle. So anyhow. Yeah, I looked and looked. I couldn't even find this picture after I did it, so I looked to see if there was a copyright on this, but I couldn't find the picture even anymore. It was like an advertisement for uh, this kid for uh, some kind of ballet studio somewhere. I don't even know where. Somewhere back east or something. Somewhere back east, so I don't know. She's a cute kid. There's a lot of pictures of her. Uh, that her parents or somebody took. Whoever she was in ballet with, they took a bunch of pictures of her. This was about the cutest one. Uh, who knows how old she is now? I don't even know how old that picture was. And they just had this as, you know, their kind of logo. So I'm going to make her a foot. Because she needs And I don't know that I even have enough paper to do that. But I'm going to do it anyway. Little fat leg, oh, cute little baby girl, little chunky legs. Okay, and then she needs a foot here too, so let me come back around and do this one. It's easier for me to figure out her foot. She's standing on her tiptoes, like they taught her to do in ballet. Don't have to do that in ballet. And on your tippy toes. Okay, so now she needs some hair. So I have to take some of this dark that I have and turn it into part of her afro. 
And I feel like I had some more paper somewhere. But anyway, I'll just like do this. It doesn't really matter. This is going to get painted out anyhow. This is going to be the top part of her afro right here. There you go. There's that baby's afro. Ha! There's her afro right there. Just made her have like a whole head for the head because she knows she got it. That's all we did was do that right there. Took that dark part. And the rest of her hair. on pause for just a minute and we'll see if we're ready to um, put this baby on her painting and then let her dry for a day or so. Be right back. <laughs> 